Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and till now we have completed the send chat request and the cancel chat request. For the sender portion, uh, I mean we have completed the sender portion. Now for the receiver portion in the previous video tutorial we have also completed the cancel chat request. Now we will work on the accept chat request. So once the user accept the chat request or you can say the message request then this account which is your robots will be added in the contact portion of a user okay and then both user can contact with each other and you can say send messages pictures and anything uh, both the user wants okay so let's uh, start work on the accept chat request so if i come here and here we have our message chat request method so we can simply now till now we have worked for the new and the request sent now we can simply copy this and we will change it for the request underscore received so if the receiver received a chat request from any user then what we will do we are going to create a method by the name accept chat request okay and now let's create that method the profile activity so this is the method and now here we can say now for the contacts as you know that first of all let me tell you that we will uh, display the contact list that is how much person a user have we will uh, show that contact list here but uh, for that we will create a new node as you know that this is for the request so we will create a contacts node here and inside that you will save all the contacts of a specific user so for that come here above first and let's create a node by the name contacts reference okay rdf so now here you can simply copy paste this and we will change it for the contacts so first of all change this to contacts contacts and also make sure to change this to contacts ref which is our contacts reference now come down and here inside this you can say contacts ref dot child sender user id dot child receiver user id dot child contacts which will be our another parent node for the contacts or you can say contact list so you can say dot set value and the value for this will be saved that is once the user click on the accept chat request button then that contact will be added or you can say saved in the contact list which we will display on our contacts fragment later in the upcoming video tutorials dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and here we can say if task dot is successful so this is for the sender then the receiver i mean for the sender we are saving the contact list as you know that we have to display the contacts in both accounts i mean in the sender and also in the receiver account because we have to display to both that you both are now add with each other i mean in your contact list so what we're gonna do we can simply copy this and inside this successful we can pass that and change remove this first and the first one will be now the receiver and the other one will be the sender so once uh, the context uh, is created i mean if the context is saved then we have to remove the old record i mean the chat request from the chat request fragment because now both are uh, both are now uh, both have added each other in their contact list in their mobile phones so in order to remove that we can use the chat request reference dot child uh, sender user id dot child receiver user id dot remove value dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and make sure to put a semicolon here first so this will remove the sender request and also we have to remove the request from the receiver end so for that we can simply copy this and here first of all we have to check it task dot is successful and inside that we can paste that and first of all remove this and the first one is the receiver id and the other one will be the sender id so yeah that's it and here 
we can enable the send message request button first so we can say set enabled to true and current state will be now the friends that is the both the persons are now friends with each other and they can send messages and talk and contact with each other and the next thing is to change the send message request button so you can say dot set text now both the users has the choice I mean uh, let's say if we both are added with each other then now both the user has the choice to remove that contact let's say if both the users are not uh, happy with each other and they want to remove the other person from the, their contact list then they can do so okay so we can call this button now as let's give it a name as remove this contact and the next thing is to invisible the decline message request button so you can say set visibility to invisible u dot invisible decline set enables to false now the important thing or you can say the last thing for this tutorial which is left is come here above and here we have this okay if the request type is sent and then we uh, do for the request type is equals to receive you can see we have this first uh, out of most if statement where we basically uh, checking the received user id so for this if statement which is and here okay after that we can check else and inside this else we can now uh, check in the contacts ref dot child sender user id dot add listener for single single value event new value event listener and now here inside this on data change we can say if data snapshot dot has child receiver user id then first we can change the current state to friends and then we can change the send message request button to remove this contact so yeah that's it and now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully let's go to the find friends and also check let's check the uh, database so now Joe Robert sent me a friend request okay you can see this accept chat request and cancel chat request so if I click on accept chat request then you can see that from the chat request the request is deleted and uh, context is uh, context node is created and here you can see this okay saved and saved now as i told you we will retrieve these contacts on our contact segment in the upcoming video tutorials let me show it to you guys that is from here the request will be deleted once we uh, do it let me check for another user so first for the reda ford if i click on the accept chat request then you can see from here it is deleted and here the contacts is added that is saved and if I show you then currently Muhammad Ali has two contacts which is this one and this ID you can check it from here and if you can uh, see the names from here that is whom I have added so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial first of all we will work on the remove this contact that is if the two person are in their contacts with each other I mean in the contact list of each other then both of the user has this right to con uh, to remove that contact I mean or you can say unfriend uh, each other so what the user can uh, then unfriend or you can say uh, remove the contact from his mobile phone simply by clicking this remove this contact and once we complete that then we will uh, display all these contacts uh, here on our contacts fragment and also we will add another fragment here where we will uh, display all the chat requests from the users that is uh, an online user uh, how much request he received and from whom he received so from there a user can easily see the requests okay so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video take care of yourself and bye for now